Once I was seven years old. Hello and welcome to KNR Project. In this tutorial, I will show you how to connect a push button to control a LED and a buzzer. So the materials required in this project are a 220 ohm resistor, a 1k ohm resistor, a push button, a buzzer, a LED, and few jumper wires. First of all, I'll be providing power to the breadboard. So to provide the power to the breadboard, you can see pin number 5B on the Arduino. This 5 volt pin must be connected to plus V and then the ground pin which is beside 5 volt pin on the Arduino must be connected to minus V pin on the breadboard. Now let's connect buzzer to the Arduino. You can see that there are two pins on this buzzer. The longer one is the positive pin whereas the shorter one is the negative pin. The longer one must be connected to the Arduino whereas the shorter one must be connected to negative B pin on the breadboard. First I'll fit it on the breadboard and then the longer one it must be connected to pin number 0 on the Arduino A0. The shorter leg, it must be connected to minus V on the breadboard. And then, let's connect this LED to the breadboard. In this LED too, there are two pins. The longer one is positive, whereas the shorter one is negative. The longer pin goes to pin number 2 on the Arduino. And then the shorter leg must be connected to the ground with the help of this 220 ohm resistor. Now let me explain about this push button. You can see that there are four pins and the column pins are connected whereas the rows are not connected. When we press the button, the rows get connected as well and all four pins of this push button get the power. Now let's connect it on the breadboard. Yeah. It must act as a bridge between these two segments. One pin must be connected to plus B on the breadboard. Whereas the other pin must be connected to minus B with the help of this 1K home resistor. And finally, from the same point through which the resistor is connected, we have to connect Arduino with the push button from the same point. So I will be connecting it with pin number 8 on the Arduino. So with this our setup is complete. You might be wondering why I use this 1K ohm resistor to ground this push button. When we press the push button, it sends some positive input to the Arduino. But when we don't push it, it does not send any accurate data to the Arduino. It sends random input to the Arduino and then it might affect our program. So when we ground it, the current directly flows to the ground and then there won't be any input to the Arduino. So our program runs properly. Now let's connect this Arduino to the computer and then upload the code. Here is our code. You can see that I have assigned A02 buzz pin and pin number 8 to button pin and pin number 2 to LED pin and I have initialized button state which will have a value when we press the push button and in this void setup loop this is the serial data transfer rate and the pin mode for buzzer is output and since the push button provides input to the Arduino its pin mode is input and then LED which 
provides output a spin mode is the output in the word setup loop button state first reads the data from the push button when it is pressed it will become high and then when we, it is high the buzzer sound makes some noise and then led turns on else when the push button is not pressed the led will turn off and then the buzzer will be in its off state now when i push this push button you can see that the buzzer is making some noise and then the led is turned on so as soon as i leave it it comes back to the off state hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you like the video then please don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you